all right it's me again youtube good morning and as i mentioned in my last video i do have a question that i want to ask all of you this morning i would be delighted if you chose to answer in a video response but if you choose to just respond by way of a comment that's great too and even if you choose not to respond once you would have heard the question believe it or not that's good enough you know once you would have heard it and so the question is this do you think about your your soul or if that's too broad for you or you don't even understand what your soul really is do you think about your life and because all of us are going to die i'm sure everybody knows that well hopefully everybody knows that by now everybody should know that we are going to die and we don't know when and we don't know why which is why we should realize that there is a god we really aren't in control don't know when and we don't know why anyway so on that premise we're all going to die one day um do you think about what is going to happen after you die do you think about that and if you do what are your thoughts just as i said earlier that even if you choose not to respond to me which is totally fine if you choose not to respond to me once you would have heard the question that's good enough for me it's the same way whether you do think about these things or not doesn't change anything how our whole life and the purpose for our lives and um what happens after we die whether we choose to think about these things or not won't change any of that but i want to ask you this morning do you think about your soul or do you think about your life the the reason why you are here the purpose for your life whether your life is meaningful and what will happen to you after you leave through death um and i'm asking the question so i'm going to give you my answer and yes i do think about my life and what do i think most of the times i think you know what it's best for me to live my life the happiest i can with the most peace and joy and rest that i can it's important for me to do what i believe that i was created to do and my number one belief is according to the word of god and that word is that word or that instruction is that i was created to worship god and so i try to live my life like that to to be obedient to be pleasing in his sight and of course <laughs> there's no perfect man who walked this earth besides jesus but he says we must strive for it every day and you know that's something else that i would have to get into but i'm just answering this question do i think about what will happen after and all of that yes i do and um what i believe that's going to happen after is that just like the bible says because that is my foundation you know these are my beliefs the bible says that god sent his one son to die for our sins so that whoever chooses to accept him to accept that we were sinners or we are sinners who needed to be saved and the blood of jesus and a life following jesus can do that the bible promises and god promises eternal life for all of those persons so that's how i live my life and so i believe that you know what let me live this life the best way i know how according to what i believe because that's what we all do let me live this life setting my priorities in the right order you know the bible also says what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose his soul and i just felt like throwing this out there to you this morning because there are so many persons who you know are just living their lives how they choose to 
and totally forgetting that somebody created us somebody created us we did not create ourselves we we could never there's no way this whole universe mankind and everything in it just came by the theory of some big bang that is you know th that can't be that doesn't add up and you know like i said i was just thinking about that this morning and i wanted to say it to to you guys do you stop and think sometimes about your soul or about your life and the fact that you're not always going to be here what is really going to happen after that i think it's at least worth the thought first of all and then you know the thought first of all and then after that then you can seek direction and things like that but i i do think that it's important for us not to just the bible even says that um some of us are so basically presumptuous that we make all kinds of plans you know for tomorrow for later on this evening who told us that we have tomorrow later on this evening but then some people don't care about those things because that same bible says that these things are foolishness to those who don't believe so all of what i'm saying might be foolishness to you and um that's all right but i'm still asking you the question and i hope you'll answer and like i said even if you don't answer that's good enough because you would have heard the question um, the God whom I serve and who many of you serve is a very just God. He's very, very just. And he would not, he says that he searches our heart, he examines our mind and all of that in order, in order to deal with us according to what he finds there. You know, the life we lived and all of that. And so he, there's no way he would you know punish any of us in any way eventually if we didn't know the truth and so some of you might get where i'm coming from that is why i'm saying even if you choose not to answer if you choose to get upset if you choose to curse me out the important thing is that you would have heard the question god bless you everybody bye bye